How's everyone doing today? Thanks for tuning in to another Oil for the Basics video blog. Today we will be taking you through how to calculate your mud weight and how to determine your mud weight window. Alright, so let's get started. Here I have a typical wellbore diagram that you see being drawn. I have your surface up here, your conductor casing, your surface casing, and we're drilling ahead at 8,000 feet with your intermediate casing. Your wellbore is filled with a mud that is 10, 10 pounds per gallon. And so how do you determine the pressure of your, how do you determine the pressure being exerted by your mud at 8,000 feet? Well, your pressure will equal 0 0.052, which is um, a constant, times your mud weight density, times your depth, plus P naught. And so let's go through this equation. This is your typical mud weight equation. Sometimes you won't even see this P naught part of it, but I'm gonna include it um, just to be more, be more accurate. So 0 0.052 is your constant. Uh, rho is your density. So that would be your 10 pounds per gallon. Depth is the depth at which you're drilling to or that you're trying to calculate your pressure. So at 8,000 feet today. And your pressure, P naught, um, that'd be your pressure at surface. So atmospheric pressure is 14.7 PSIA. So now let's go through this equation. Your pressure equals 0 0.052 times your 10 pounds per gallon times your 8,000 feet plus 14.7 PSIA. And so as you see, let's go through this again. This is your, in your pounds per gallon. This is your constant. Your pressure will be in PSIA and 8,000 feet, which is your depth that you're trying to calculate the pressure exerted by a mud. And so this right here, again, is your atmospheric pressure, um, which you can, can include if you want your value to be in PSIA. And so your pressure at 8,000 feet exerted by a mud will be Four thousand one hundred seventy-five psia. And so now let's determine what your normal pressure of your formation should be, and also let's determine what the pressure must be in order to fracture the formation. Now let's go and try to figure out um, those values and ultimately determining your mud weight window. All right. So now let's figure out what the pressure of the formation is if it is normally pressured. If it is normally pressured then the pressure gradient is 0 0.465 PSI per foot. And so in order to determine your PSI, your pressure, you just multiply this value by 8,000. And so if you do that, you get 0 0.465 times 8,000 feet, which equals 3,720 PSI. And so that is the pressure exerted by your formation um, at 8,000 feet. So as you conclude, the pressure exerted by your mud has to be greater than this because if it is not, then this could lead to um, a kick to enter the wellbore. And this could happen if your formation pressure is greater than your mud weight pressure exerted on the formation. So now let's determine what the mud weight must be to not fracture your formation at 8,000 feet. So now on the board, I've written up your fracture pressure gradient of around a range of 0.7 to 0.9. This is commonly seen. It depends on, again, on the formation, um, the type of location you're drilling in, um, your rock type. And so today we'll be using 0.9 PSI per foot, which is best case scenario because that'll give you the greatest amount of pressure. Um, it'll allow you to weigh up on your mud and still not fracture your formation up to a certain point. So now let's figure out what that pressure must be. Again, it's pretty simple to figure out. So that's your fracture pressure at 8,000 feet. Like I mentioned, we're gonna be using 0 0.9 PSI per foot. And you just multiply that by 8,000 feet, which, which is where you are drilling at currently and that'll equal 7,200 PSI. So this is the max pressure that your formation will withstand 
before it fractures. And so now what we have to figure out is what is that pressure? How does it translate into your mud weight? What's your max allowable mud weight in order, so, in order that you do not fracture the formation? Well, let's take a look. All right, so now we can figure out what the max allowable mud weight is in order to not fracture the formation. So let's take a look. Your equivalent mud weight density will be your, again, your 7200 PSI that we calculated before using our pressure gradients. That's divided by your constant of 0 0.052 times your 8,000 feet, which is where you're drilling it. And so as you can see here with this equation, your equivalent mud weight is your 7200 PSI, which is your max allowable pressure in order to not fracture the formation, time, divided by your constant of 0.052 times your 8,000 feet, which is where we're drilling at. And that equals a mud weight of 17.3 pounds per gallon. This is your max mud weight right here. And now we have to figure out using our, um, our formation pressure that we calculate using our normal pressure gradient is your minimum mud weight in order to not have a kick and flux into your well bore. And so we're going to be doing this kind of the same procedure here instead of um, the 7200 PSI, we'll simply put the pressure that we got before of 3720 and this gives us a mud weight of 8.94 ppg. And now we're using those values we can determine the mud weight window. And you never want to have the values that you calculate be actually your exact mud weights that you'll allow out in the field um, on the drilling rig. You want to have some sort of safety factor. So let's assume a 0.5 pounds per gallon uh, mud weight safety factor. And so that will give you a mud weight window of max 16.8 pounds per gallon. Your mud weight has to be less than that, but greater than 9.5 pounds per gallon. And so this right here is your mud weight window. And so this right here is your mud weight window. Um, it'll help, help you keep a check on your mud weights, make sure that mud weight doesn't go below 9.5 pounds per gallon or go above 16.8. Again, the gradients will depend on the formation you're in, the location that you're drilling through, the rock types. Um, these are just numbers that we've been taught in school and that we've seen before um, out on location. And so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned how to calculate your mud weight, your mud weight window. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And again, if you want to learn more about upstream oil and gas operations, check out our course at oilfieldbasics.com. We have a great comprehensive course that goes through, that goes through the unconventional shale plays that are extremely relevant in the United States today. And so with that being said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.